What's up, everybody? It's Nick Nostalgia. Ready for another episode of I Need to Find My Dad, aka Illusion of Gaia. <laughs> and everybody had a good day today. One day, so you know. Can't win them all. Alright, let us... Let us go. Alright, where am I here? Where am I? <clears throat> I'm the young William... Oh, that's right. I'm in... The Mushroom Town. <laughs> I'm trying to leave the Mushroom Place. Go! I think. Unless that just brought me all the way back around. And... No, I think that's right. I think I'm... Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. I feel like I'm getting pretty... pretty close to the end of this game. Um... I don't really remember, though. <clears throat> so, couldn't tell you. I know there's like one, one more place that I actually vividly remember. It's rough, um, but other than that, we'll see. We'll see. Also, thanks everybody for uh, liking the stream, following the stream. Remember, if you want to uh, be notified when I go live, just put a, uh, give it a exclamation point, notify in the chat, just like this. Boom. Type that in and be notified whenever I go live. Right, so, where am I going? I guess we're going back... Back to the mansion, I guess? Yeah, I guess we're going back to the mansion. Let's go see... Neil's parents here. <clears throat> I think... I think Neil's parents... Um, let's see. Oh, that's right. I have to use the... That's right, I forgot. I got the the teapot. That is a... Oh, wait, what did I say? A jar filled with tears. Yes, the old jar filled with tears. He tries using the teapot. The spirit's tears rained down. Whoa! I'm pretty sure I just killed his parents. Sorry, bud. Sorry. Soon this world will be wrapped in darkness. The previous owner of this body is now a skeleton sleeping under the shrine. Okay. Oh, they were the skeletons? He was just like, what? What happened? You just, bro, you just killed my parents who were being possessed by ghosts. Oh man, that's so sad. I finally realized how important my parents are to me. Wish I could have told them. Yeah. Yeah, it's never too late. Always, always reach out. Tell the people, tell the people you love that you love them today. That is an official PSA. Bill, just leave me alone for a while. Bro, you just found out that his parents are dead. Like, lay off of him. He is grieving. I'm ashamed to hear you talk that way. That's rude. Wow. Next morning... <laughs> The next morning, disappointment awaits. Yeah, alright. I, I must be a Monday. Alright, there's Neil. Bro, you don't have to apologize about yesterday. You found out that your parents were being... weekend at Bernie's around by spirits. 
thought about it all night. I'm next in line to inherit this company. I mean, I don't know if you really need to think about that all night. You probably know if you have siblings or... right? <laughs> like... Oh boy, if I want to stop the labor trade, I have to change the company that started. They make money in human misfortune. I'm going to become the president of the company? That's amazing! Heh <laughs> stop it, you're embarrassing me. Para, someone's come asking about you. Something about being an old friend. Uh oh. <clears throat> it's Hamlet! Yeah, for those of you who don't remember Hamlet, Hamlet showed up in like probably the first 20 minutes of the game, and it's uh, Kara's pet pig. Come all this way looking for Lily found him in Water Mia and sent him by Jeez. <laughs> I don't understand women. <clears throat> to the west of here are the roots of Anchor Water. That is where the laborers home. Let's go oh, whoa, okay. Well, Let's do it. <clears throat> Natives Village. It's hot. Oh, it's as hot as the tropics. I see the world tilted, my eyes blurred. There's nothing we can do. Let's stay in this village today. Oh, Hamlet! Oh, Hamlet! I'm so glad that you're back. They're not weathered yet, only recently bleached white. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> Are we just, like, rolling up to this village? I guess... Found a red jewel. Statue of a girl stands silently. Can I, can I psychic them? No. Strange nestle here. Oh, let's just... Yeah, why not? Let's just go into the houses. Why not? Uh, no one here. The village looks abandoned. That's good. We can rest if we want. Yeah, there you go. Just, uh... Take, take over someone's house. Let's rest today. So from the trip, they fall into a deep sleep. Uh oh. They'd be like, who's in my house? What? Hamlet. Let me sleep a little while. He's so no I mean, who are you? You're in their house! Oh. Some stuff happening. Uh oh. <clears throat> they seem to be very hungry. Look, those children look so upset. That's right. The servant boy said that in Frisia, there's so much famine in this country. Those bones are the bodies of people who starve to death. Oh, we'll be next. Hamlet, why such a sad look? It's as if we'll soon be separated. Oh no. Whoa! Oh, that's sad. We just... You just came back, bud! You just came back! Hamlet! Hamlet, why? Poor Hamlet. To eat or not to eat. Oh. 
God, what a good boy. He sacrificed himself so that the village could eat. Oh, gosh. There's a child inside of... Fire? Or maybe Hamlet? A familiar voice echoed in their heads. Listen, everyone. It was Hamlet's wish to be... his people. One baby pig could save many villains. Um, That's Will's mom? Will's mom is the fire? I'm confused. Or, I don't know, whatever, let's keep going. Bill, everyone in this place. Darkness is approaching the world. You must combine your strength to save the planet. So find the mystic statues and go to the... You know what, people keep telling me to go to the... The Tower of Babel. I just, like, yeah, I know, that's where I'm going anyways. I gotta go find my dad. But, like, I don't have to keep telling you. The man timidly held out his hand. Uh, take his hand? We don't need understand each other's language, but I think we agree. He just jumped to the fire. The tribe was so small, they have lost so many to starvation. Other sister's husband wants. How did they go? Oh, God. Never hear that snore again. Man, this is. What is that? Air is filled with. Roasting Hamlet. Oh God, this just kicks you right in the old, right in the old face, right in the old feels. I go save and just pretend like none of this happened. Laura, thanks so much for following. I appreciate it. Children, it seems that Ramapo oh, in the region. It's nice. I wanna just I wanna talk to you. It smells like dumplings made of insect. My heart was filled, it seemed as if we stood each other. Alright, so like now what? Uh I guess go? Bye? That's it? Done? Go to Anchor Watt now? No? Okay. I go back. Let's go. Where are we going? Oh. Okay. Faces the skeleton with tears in his eyes. Skeleton. Friend or relative? Points north. Let's show him on the map a picture of the temple. He's saying he wants to go to the temple. Now I guess I go. Alright, let's go to Anchor Watts. Got going on in Anchor Watts. I remember I don't like this place. Through the jungle, three days journey from the native village, there is a huge temple. Ooh! The bush! The bush was an enemy the whole time! Bro! How do I... How do I kill you? Oh gosh! What is this terrifying thing? I definitely... Definitely remember not liking this one. <laughs> What else are we dealing with? Okay, so that one looks just a little different than the rest. This I just don't understand yet. Okay. 
So you gotta kill... Man, alright. Yikes. Yikes! Guys, I'm not even in... I'm just in the first part of this dungeon! I'm already, like, half gone! I better get good, man. I better get good, otherwise we're gonna have a bad time. gotten you this far. You got you should be able to There we go. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my dear dear enemy. Oh god, one these guys. All right, let's let's try this out a little bit. Yeah, that's what's up. All right, so we got to psycho dash them. That's the secret. Oh, perfect. And all I had to do is uh, just get... Kill all the enemies, get all my life back. That old... That old chestnut. My god. I guess in the beginning there was like a thing. So this is the only way to go. Unless there's a fancy over here that I didn't know about. Oh, okay. Let us, let us away into the anchor pot. Oof. Passage outside. Oh, what are you? Oh. Terrible, what are you, you terrible, terrible demon head? Yikes.com. Okay. Ha! You're no match for my flute, bro. So far, only zombie head. Is oh, oh, what is, what is this nasty trick? Hate this. I hate whatever is happening here. Yeah, take that. Alright, now I can use my fancy spin! Red Jewel! Alright. What other surprise enemies? Gosh, what is that? It's like a little scorpion on the wall. Well, I don't think I can get to you. Scorpion. Just have to come back. Rude. Oh. Wow, there's a lot of enemies here.
should not be able to hit me through the wall like that. Oh, what is this terrible thing? I hate that. That's it? Okay. pick the wrong <laughs> and by the wrong one I mean they always pick the one that I <laughs> not doing <laughs> it's rude very rude all right let's see what else we got going let's kill these guys sure everybody's favorite no I really gotta be careful I am taking some serious damage like I'll get lucky. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll find a dark space soon. Maybe I'll just keep being being bad. Maybe I'll just keep being Basically, this guy just chases me around and then goes back to his original chin. That I can hit. Alright, what do I got here? I got some herb. Let's take that medicine. Look 
Good job, me. Double, j double good job, me. Harder than some of the bosses in this game. Alright, give me that life back. Yes, thank you. Okay. Where am I going? Am I? Where am I? Oh, okay. That's where I was trying to get to before. Ah, uh, okay. Did I go through there? Or did I go through... Wait, this is where I came from, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I must go... This way. I was not prepared for that. Most definitely was a red jewel. What a sneaky, sneaky, dirty thing. I just die? Maybe I die. Maybe that's the best way to do this. I die and then I just start back in the beginning of that. That, um. Yeah, let's try that. Well, alright. Guys, I did that for an herb. Ugh. What are you thinking, bro? Better to know now than to have not known at all. Down, please. Thank you. Just gotta wait. Okay. Tell I'm a big boy with a sword. Just wait. Show you. Take you out. Done with you. Done with you.
that's uh, tedious, huh? And they are just... Like, hey, how many of these boys can we cram into this one stage? And it's a hundred thousand, basically. The answer is a hundred thousand. All right, what else? What else we here? Friend of me. It's you. Oh, you can slide into them. That's good. I didn't know that. I didn't think you'd let me. Hey, look at that. And this will probably take me outside. Cool. So, anything down here? No. Where are we going? Garden. Oh my gosh. There are so many enemies. Alright, first things first. Let's get to that dark space. Yeah. Easier said than done. Yes, yes, I know you. Scary bush. Scary bush. Ah. and hoping that I, uh... stand in my way. Let's go. Big sword. Hi, Casey. Thanks for liking the stream. I appreciate it. These flies are going to be the bane. They are the bane of my existence. Let's go this way. Ones of a lost explorer, fascinated by something? The journal. Across the jungle to the native village. We didn't understand the language, but they beckoned for us to stay. I woke in the morning, only Captain Freezer and I remained. I had destroyed many people during the night. And our friends. Their hitboxes are super small. Yeah, they are, and they run and they like fly around in all these different directions, and it's just uh It's kinda <laughs> I just kinda keep stabbing wildly hoping I'll be able to do it. Um let's see. Man, there's so many enemies in the part. On. Do you like how you use video game lingo? Of course I liked how you use video game lingo. That's the perfect. Your stream teaches me so much. That's good. I'm glad I'm glad you're finding it entertaining and educational. <laughs> That's very nice. It's very nice to hear. Uh, 
Maybe we'll talk about uh, clipping next. Parts of things go through other things they aren't supposed to. Yes, that is exactly what clipping is. You got it. So we won't, we won't, we won't have to talk about it then. You got that. Down pat. I learned that from The Sims. Yeah, okay, that's fair. That probably happens a lot in The Sims. Hey, Adil, how are you? Good, good to see you. Good, glad you're liking the stream. Appreciate it. See that bush? You see that bush right there? Done. Got him's. Gone and forgotten. Alright. Probably some more bushes. Yep, more bushes. Here we go. Boom. I'm a master... Master bushwhacker. Is that a profession? It's, probably, it's like an Australian thing, right? Hey Jen, it's uh, it's a, it's Illusion of Gaia. It's like an old school action RPG, um, very similar to like like Secret of Mana, um, in that kind of way. Yeah, much like that. How you been? What's new? Not a lot, just living. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Did you, uh, did you survive the hurricane? That's good. Glad to hear it. I, I feel like, yeah, I feel like we didn't get much specifically in this area, but I feel like down in, down in, like, Columbia and Green, uh, areas, people really got hit hard. Are you just gonna hang out there? Okay, you're just gonna hang out there and do your little spinny thing like an animal person. I'm just gonna do this. So essentially, the the premise of this game is that I am a I'm like a 15 year old boy who is trying to find his dad, and every once in a while I can turn into a a big sword knight, kind of like Ocarina of Time. Yeah, the New York, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Connecticut border area got pounded. Yeah, I did see that. I saw some pictures um, today, and it it looked. It looked rough. Um, lots of flooding. Some of the roads were washed out too. Was, yeah, it looked really, really intense. Did you play any, um, Super Nintendo RPGs back in the day? Yeah. 
Gotcha. Yeah, this was a, this was a fun one. I uh, I remember playing it at my friend's house a bunch, and uh, <laughs> we were really bad at it. But we were also like ten years old, so I, was, a lot of these concepts were uh, lost on us. Especially because there was a lot. There's a lot of very heavy themes in this game. Um, you actually just came in after uh, the princesses animal companion, uh, it's a pig named Hamlet, uh, sacrificed himself so that the starving village people could eat. Uh, Tom did, though. Oh, cool, cool. Did, did Tom play this one at all? <laughs> yeah, yikes. Yikes, indeed. It gets, it gets, uh, yeah, they, there's like a whole like um, like labor camp thing, um, where I had to like dis as like a 12 year old kid, I basically had to go in and like dismantle this laborers camp, and it was essentially just slavery. Um, you know, all these guys were like captured from their villages and forced to work in the big city, and it's just like I, you just don't necessarily, I think, recognize all of the the big themes of this game until you're an adult. Hey Tom, thanks for uh, thanks for sharing the screen. Scream the stream. <laughs> Jeremy, thanks, thanks, man, thanks for liking the stream. All right, how do I do this? Ah, there we go. Perfect. And thanks for following, really appreciate it. Pretty sure there's an enemy. <laughs> there we go. Simone, thanks for following, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's the Sims. You like you like that little uh that little gif there. <laughs> Jen, have you and Tom been playing any D&D uh, &D lately? Shadowrun, that's a system I've never, I, I don't really know too much about, but that's like post-apocalyptic, right? Um, that's kind of the, the general vibe. And it's all about like hacking and like espionage and stuff. Cyberpunk with magic. Okay, that's pretty cool. What um what kind of classes do they have? Or is it do you, do you just kind of like pick like your kind of weapon of choice kind of thing? Classless. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So you can kind of just be whatever you want to be. Whatever the mood strikes you. Spirit, you must wear the black crystal glasses. I saw something shining on the ground near the main hall. Really? How many D6s on like do you need for the game? Is it like fireball amounts of D6s or or is it a manageable amount? Stop. 
stop. You dropped 20 D6 in one game? That's... that's... that's outrageous! I have a character that uses over 20 dice for all firearms. That's so many! Do you actually physically have 20 D6s that you roll, or do you just use like an app and roll 20 D6? God, I can't imagine. You must have a dice tray for that, right? Otherwise, you're gonna lose half your D6s. Yeah, my mage named Le Michael Bay. The babe the <laughs> I'm Oh, I'm sorry. Your mage named Le Michael Bayed the <laughs> enemy's boat. <laughs> that's cool. Oh yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah, after I read it the first time I was like, wait, no, is is the is the full name Michael Baylaid? <laughs> Uh, what are all the games that I play? Um, on this stream, I pretty much play anything classic. Um, I've been playing... I played Super Mario World, I did a regular Zelda run. Um, let's see, what else have I done? Playing some RPGs... Yeah, I mean, pretty much everything. I have a, a list of stuff. Oh, I played uh, some Bubble Bobble and Yo Noid. I'm gonna play some Castlevania at some point. Um, pretty much what anyone and everyone wants, you know, I'll, I'll try to get my hands on a copy of something and play it. Um, so if you got, you know, specific games that you want to see, definitely let me know. I'd be more than happy to to get those going. Haven't played D&D since 2019. Gotcha. Yeah, we haven't we haven't played in a while either. We, um, my wife, she just started a campaign, so she's DMing her first campaign. She's really excited, and she is uh, super good at it. She go, she's going all out. Rondo of Blood Turbo Graphics PC Engine. Ooh, ah. Uh... I think I have Rondo of Blood, but I don't think I have it for Turbo Graphics. Ah, oh, where am I going here? Yeah, it's fun. It's it'll. It's the first time I've uh, I've ever actually like really played as a, a player, so I'm pretty excited about that. The original. Is that the original? I guess it probably is, huh? Rondo of Blood didn't make it onto a lot of systems. I think I have it for PSP. Jeremy, what kind of games do you like, man? Oh, Tom, you have to tell me about Yeast, okay? I just learned about this whole entire franchise. It, what's what's the uh, what's the hype for Yeast? Horrible voice acting, last alert. Oh, okay, all right. I'm always down for some uh, for some terrible. <laughs> Terrible uh, acting and voiceovers. It's always fun to watch. Some, some like Zelda CGI or CDI rather. Let's see. Any four? Should be one enemy left in here somewhere. Aha! Found you.
Oh, is that it? Usually playing the silent protagonist swordsman. Well, who gets dragged into some sort of magical quest stuff. Gotcha. So it's so it's always the same character um, in each of the games. Ah, zero wing, that's right. Put on my black glasses. Now I can see. So what are what are some of the um, like typical uh, things that you would do in like a Shadowrun campaign? Uh, Jeremy, this game is called Illusion of Gaia. It was a Super Nintendo game um, originally released by NX, uh, which later became Square NX, which gave you things like Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy, um, those types of games. Uh, it's an action adventure RPG where I am a young boy named Will who is essentially just trying to find his dad. <laughs> that, that's a very watered down version of it. And I can go into deep space and I can turn into a knight. It's very uh, Ocarina of Times-esque where I can kind of just like turn into an adult version of myself, I guess. very Blade Runner-like. Shadowrunners are kind of like freelancers that get hired by rich people to risk their lives for some union. Okay. Alright, so you're basically just, uh... You're basically just, uh... Mercenaries. Um, is it all, like, is it very, like, high -tech -y? Um, you know, you can do, like, hacking and, like, is, is there, like, a combat system and stuff? Well, there must be, right? I imagine there probably is. Go. Mr. Ghost! Come on. Oh, oh! Invisible boy. High tech, low life. I see. There's a lot of corporate intrigue with hacking, drones, magic, and lots of guns. Lots and lots of guns, huh? Sounds fun! Let's see. Where am I going here? Where am I going here? And this game is confusing. Left. Oh, that's exactly where I just was. Dang it. So there's, there's these uh, red jewels in this game, basically. That's like the, the super secret item to find. Um, and they give you a secret um, level at the end of the game that you can access. I played a weapons adept that tended to use vintage, vintage weapons with no smart gun technology. That way they couldn't get bricked. Ah, oh, okay. So you can actually like have like enemies like sabotage your guns and and stuff. That's cool. Usually play a mage. Yeah. What's like what kind of? I'm very curious how magic, um, like like the role that magic has in such a high tech fantasy game. So I feel like, you know, why cast Fireball when you can shoot Rocket Launcher? <laughs> K 
can't break an M4 or an AK. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's very, very fair. <laughs> This reminds me of the original Zelda games for NES. Yeah, yeah, it does. It definitely has that feel to it. Absolutely. Um, I actually just recently played through uh, the original Zelda on NES. I think the stream's still up on my page, um, and it was it was wild. I I could not remember for the life of me like most of the stuff, um, but I I did I did get through the whole stuff. <laughs> the whole playthrough, but I uh, I had to do a little cheat at the end, because I had to use a guide to get through the last dungeon. <laughs> but that's okay. Still still made it. There are elves, dwarves, orcs, trolls, and lots of other races. Essentially, sometime in the early 21st century, magic came back, and all these other races popped up, all collectively referred to meta-humanity. Huh, that's cool. What, uh, what race is your character? Some spells armor... Some spells armor do not protect you, unlike with conventional weapons, monobolt armor. Gotcha, okay. Immortal elf. Very cool, very cool. Is magic one of those kinds of... Well, I guess it depends on the, like, the... I don't know, the DM? Is that what you call it? What do you call the, the Game Master in, uh, in Shadowrun? Sneaking specialist thief. He's a jag. You could be a jaguar shapeshifter. That sounds incredible. DMGM. Gotcha. Yeah. It's all. It's all the same. Uh, my wife prefers to go by the term dice boss. That is her. Uh, that is her preferred title. Dice boss. Shapeshifters are great. It's it's hard for me to play any other class other than a uh, <laughs> than like a shapeshifter class or a druid. He also has a, the trait cat like. Ah, okay, cool. So he has like that feline agility kind of thing going on. Yeah, I really like I really like the term dice boss. She did a good job coming up with that. <laughs> Let's see, I feel like I am all sorts of turned around here. This is where I jumped down from. Yes, I guess we'll go up and then down. There's a treasure chest here on this level, but I see you. How do I get to you? How do I get to you, Mr. Treasure Chest? No, oh, music stopped. Uh oh. All right, go back down. Got to Actually, hold on. Maybe there's a way to jump down. Oh, okay. Music stopped. Can't attack. That means that's the place I'm supposed to be. And actually, hold his own melee, but is sneaky, sneaky most of the time. That's cool. Do you get like? Like, uh, like trick attacks or like sneak attacks and stuff like that, or like, like trick shots or something like that. Is that kind of how the sneaky, sneaky character works? I'm sorry, you can be invisible? That's. So, okay. You're just, like, adding on all of the incredibly awesome things. Like, 
invisibility, shape-shifting. Like, what else can you do? What other incredible gifts do you have as a shape-shifting, cat-invisible person? If you're not noticed, an attack might go undefended. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, where am I going? Generation against conventional unmagical damage. Oh, that's a nice that's a nice skill to have. That's what that's what you have, or that's what um that's one of the traits of the shapeshifter. But silver hurts. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. You gotta have some sort of weakness, right? You don't wanna be too overpowered. I've been waiting. Will, I've been waiting for you to come for thousands of years. That's... that's a hot take. What are you? I am dreaming. Time has passed since the dream began, and my body became what you see. I'm going to show you a strange image. Close your eyes. Tom Schaefer. Gotcha. So long, head spine is undamaged. Ah, I see. Interesting. That's a, that's a neat mechanic. Alright, what are we watching here? Man, look at these Super Nintendo graphics. Hey, Katrina, thanks so much for liking the stream, really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Huh? What was that? That is the new world. That world is all gray. This world has blue water, green mountains. Oh, now we're going into the... The ecology uh, feels. Here we go. Wash her in that world. Tall trees replaced by buildings, rivers replaced by roads. No matter what kind of world people have, if they think they're happy, they'll be happy. Go to the village and restore those turned to stone to their region. Like, I have this magic power that I could just do this. Oh, I guess I do now have this magic power where I can do this. Right, winding light stopped. I stood quietly as nothing happened, as if nothing, as if nothing happened. <laughs> I found the gorgon flower held tightly within my hand. That's nice. I just want to find my dad, guys. This is all I want. I just have to find my dad, and it, and I just keep getting sidetracked by the main story. I just, just trying to find my dad. Who talks to me in my, in my flute that I can twirl around. See, look at look at my sick sick baton skills. I I'm getting ready to audition for the color guard. Here we go. Now I have to walk all the way back. That's rough. That is the one thing I do like about modern video games is that they found out that backtracking through an entire level is a terrible, terrible waste of time. Most likely, mostly because I don't remember where I'm going. <laughs> Do they have a map? So, this, this is what the map looks like. <laughs> There's no actual map of the rooms or anything like that. Um, it only shows you roughly where treasure chests and enemies are when they show up on the map. So you just kind of have to feel it, feel it all out. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little rough. That is a dumb map. Yes, I agree. It is a very dumb map. You're just like in the middle of this void. But apparently you can see where all the enemies are. So it is helpful, I guess, in that sense. But yeah, it is a very bad map. No, carto no cartographers back in the day. Yeah, I mean, I do. I get lost all the time. Um, I was just playing this level. God, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get lost right here in this garden, because this garden was an absolute nightmare to navigate. I think I went down? Nope. Down this way? So that looks right. 
Um, I was playing this level earlier as the dungeon right before this one. It was um, this... Basically, it was this giant, like, vine and mushroom world. And so there was a lot of, like, one-way... Um, like, a one-way platforms, and it would... If you take the wrong platform, you end up, like... You know, basically going all the way back to the beginning of the screen, and just... Oh, gosh. It was so irritating. <laughs> Um, but thankfully, I also did a dungeon that was just the Great Wall of China, and you just go, just go right the whole time, and then you. So sometimes they sometimes they throw you an easy one. Sometimes they throw you an easy one. Right, let's go to the natives village. Glad you guys are uh, watching me play. I haven't talked to you guys in a long time, so I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, glad you're here. Glad you're chatting. It's really cool. Really cool to hear from you. It's been a very long time. Yeah, for real. A whole a whole pandemic too in between. <laughs> uh, that kind of put a damper on everything too, you know. There we go. Brought everybody back to life by putting a petal in a stone statue's mouth. Oh. So Kara... So a lot of this... A lot of this game takes place um, with this, like, set group of friends that you went to school with. Kara is actually a princess that hid out in your house that basically led you to getting put in jail. Um, then you had to escape jail, and then King got mad at you, and it's, it's 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 a wild ride. And really, all I want to do is just find my dad. And then my dad started talking to me through a flute, and yeah, it was a whole thing. Very interesting. Animals have returned to the forest. They no longer prey on each other. That's nice. You don't understand. The girl silently offers you a red jewel as a reward. That's nice. And I don't and I don't understand. Now what? Uh, let's travel to the Laborer Traders. Let's go. You just, like, travel across the world like it's no big deal. <laughs> He's, like, three 15-year-old kids. Ah, uh, no worries, Tom. Thanks for coming by. I really appreciate it. Definitely, uh, definitely drop in again, you know, shoot me a message, let's, uh, let's catch up at some point, for sure. Thanks again for liking the stream, man, really appreciate it. Sandstorm outside. Is it like... There's a sandstorm outside. Do you, do you happen to be Will? Yes! Good. A letter and some luggage arrived from someone named Bill and Lowell. Somehow your inventory is full. <laughs> yes, yes it is. I send my jewels off to Gem the Jeweler. Fly away. Let me save. Then let us do a couple more things here um, in the village, and then I will probably call it after that, um, just because it's a little late. And, uh, I don't want to get stuck in the middle of another dungeon. Jewel. Silently offers one sheet of paper. 
there was a picture of a jackal. <laughs> Thanks for following, Don. I really appreciate it. <laughs> uh oh. The jackal is stalking us. Jackal is like a uh, famous like assassin that's basically tracking um Kara. She's a princess and her dad put a hit out on us basically. <laughs> you get you get a letter and your father's journal. Sweet. Maybe my dad's journal will uh, talk to me. Let's let's go into deep space. Let's uh, let's read my dad's journal, and then we'll wrap up here. Okay, Dad. Deciphered the hieroglyphics. No one has ever done it before. It says there's a key to solving the riddle of human history in this pyramid. Bird smoking tower. Sky. The key arm. Baby throwing soup, bird, and I guess a dump truck? I don't know. Something. The first part says the sun spirit rises from the high. That's exactly what I just said. I went to the pyramid and found the same inscription. So, her page is missing. Well, what did my grandparents have to say? Have you been okay? Neil told us that he in Dow, so I'm sending this letter. Heard the reason why. Grandpa and I are looking forward to seeing you. Looked in your father's luggage. We found a journal written about the pyramid. I thought you would thought it would help, so I sent it along. Take care. Thanks, Grandma. Really appreciate it. Alright. Let us board. And we are going to call it an evening right there. Um, thanks for, for tuning in, uh, got a lot done. I think, um, if not next stream, but the stream after, I'll be able to finish up the game, um, or I might take a break, uh, before I get to the last part of the game and maybe I'll just play a couple of platformers. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, um, thanks for tuning in, you know, definitely follow me, like, share, do all the good things that help streamers, uh, you know, stay, stay busy, stay afloat, and stay, uh, stay entertaining. All right, guys, I will catch you later. Have a good night.